I'm not going to lie, size matters. Engine, platform, wheels, second row accommodation, and any parent will openly admit, we want to know how big the boot is. Then there's functionality, flexibility, fuel economy, technology, safety, the list goes on. At first glance, you'd be fair to assume the Mazda 2 is starting on the back foot, but the reality is Mazda's light car punches well above its weight. In August 2015, the sedan body style joined the two family, strengthening an already solid offering. The new Mazda 2 GT tops the four model lineup, its sole 1.5 litre petrol engine matched to a choice of automatic or manual transmissions. The Mazda 2's performance is perfectly fit for purpose. It's lively around town and good on the open roads. The six-speed auto changes with minimal fuss. There are three things I really love about the Mazda 2. Its infotainment interface is one. It's class leading in my opinion, modern and intuitive. The tablet style display paired with a command control dial feels very upmarket. Satellite navigation, digital radio, cruise control and Bluetooth connectivity are all there. It delivers Euro flair without the Euro price tag. Cabin ambience is another highlight. Restrained design and quality finishes again give the little Mazda a thoroughly mature vibe. It looks and feels like good value. Last but not least is its ease of driving. The steering is light but communicative. It stops and starts obediently and the cabin is simply a nice place to be. There really is something to be said for a car that is just easy to live with. Despite its light car dimensions, the Mazda 2 works as a small family vehicle. Sure, you're not going to be lugging the camper trailer or transporting the soccer team, but you'll carry five occupants and a good load of luggage too. The 440 litre boot is generous. Yes, you can fit small bikes, scooters, prams and more. And split fold seats are always good news. While two Isofix child seat anchors and three top tether mounts have toddlers covered. There are a few disappointments to speak of. No remote keyless entry, no second row air vents and a large hump in the second row footwell. Nothing of great significance. There's no denying the Mazda 2's competence, but the light car segment boasts a healthy lineup, including the Hyundai Accent, Kia Rio, Honda Jazz, and Toyota Yaris. There's plenty of choice for buyers. In its most recent form, however, we think the Mazda 2 GT has the potential to dominate the field, and it's definitely worth a test drive. <laughs>